because I know in the first scene it's like it's Dan Humphrey. I mean, I'm, I'm not even gonna try and act like it's not. When I saw it too, I was like. <gasps> I see it as a question posed to the viewer, which is, how far would you go for love? I had to play the person who is the obsessor, the stalker. Joe Goldberg is my character. He's taken the standards of our pop culture in terms of like what it, like love um, and what a relationship is meant to be, what it's meant to look like, how a man is, is, is supposed to behave, what is chivalry, you know, what does a woman want? Beck is charming, she is funny, she's fun, she is smart. Like, she has all those qualities that Joe is putting up on the pedestal. In a way, he's taking some of the norms that we have, and he's following the logic pretty closely. And then you realize how unhealthy it is, how inhuman it is, how inhumane it is, how inconsiderate it is, how possessive and obsessive, compulsive. You know, it's not love. I just need to know who you really are. You are special. I think in the second episode, it gets really dark all of a sudden. I mean, it's pretty creepy in the first episode. Creepy yet romantic. That's why I laugh when people call this a love story. It's like, I don't see it as a love story. All I want to do is help. That's why I have to do what I'm about to do. It's, it's this dance for him. Not at conscious, but it's this dance with like how, what am I, who am I, what am I doing, why am I doing it? I think what drew me to Beck was she's a bit of a mystery, and if you read the book, she's very much a mystery because you're hearing it from his perspective the whole time. If people are intrigued and equally scared, equally scared is a, is a good point. I'm like, yes, okay, great, I did my job. I hope people are at least as equally scared. And I hope people are intrigued enough that they don't just write off the fear completely. 